important to the Module 6 e-lesson. In this e-lesson, we're going to be going through the DLC checkup and that process. I also want to update you on some new information. We recently received word that your technology credit will count as digital competency credit. With this news, we've restructured the course slightly. At the beginning of the year, you were told that this course was going to be 10 modules so that we could get in one digital competency credit this year and one next year. With the change of tech credit now counting as digital competency credit, we've made the decision to shorten the course to seven modules. So that the main focus is really on your DLC goal. Our goal has always been to help you in the classroom as you want to implement technology. So it's never been about us and it's never been about exactly what we wanted you to do. So what I want you to do is focus on your DLC goal and make sure that you're making this relevant to your course and your teaching. So hopefully you'll find that this whole course and this whole process centers around where you want to take technology and then we're there to support you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Now we're going to look at the DLC checkup and that process. We're going to be going through our DLC checkup and what you can expect out of this. So please budget about 15 to 20 minutes to complete this because it will take you about that long to complete. And I know that if you only say, well, I can get through it in five minutes and then it's not finished, it's less likely that people will come back to it if they start it and then try to come back to it later. So just keep that in mind. 15 to 20 minutes is what you can expect out of this. Also, please understand that this process is meant to help you with reflection not to evaluate you based on your goal. Now, I'll share a piece of information with you. The DPI model that was shared with us was centered around the idea of teachers submitting artifacts and those artifacts being graded for credit. The downside of that is everything becomes an evaluation with this process. And that was not where we wanted to take this course or this content. So treat the DLC checkup like a reflection piece of your DLC goal. With that said, we need to know that reflection piece because instructional technology is here to support teachers and help you with your goal. So that's why we need this information so that it can guide us with where we want to go and what we need to do to help you. So the first question really just asks you to put in your DLC goal and you can copy and paste that in from the Google Doc you already have. And then the next question, have you been able to make progress on at least part of your DLC goal? Then we get into some real reflection pieces with these questions, and there are five of these. So question three asks you if you are making progress on your goal, what evidence do you have that you are making progress? And then the flip side of that, if you're not making progress, what things can you do differently to help you meet your goal? So this is all about how do you know that you're either meeting your goal or you're not meeting your goal. So that's why we talk about evidence and what do you have to justify that you're making progress. And so you'll want to look at the measurability piece of your goal and is there anything to justify that you're meeting that goal. Then question four, what's been the biggest challenge Question four, what has been the biggest help for you during the process of implementing your DLC goal? So it could be that your instructional technology personnel has been the biggest help, or you might want to say something like, well, working one-on-one -on -one with other teachers has really helped. So just please tell us what's been the biggest help, because this makes a big difference whenever we plan professional development and do things to try to support you. Question five, what's been the biggest challenge for you during this process? So as you've undertaken your goal, what has been the biggest challenge during this whole thing? Maybe it was setting your initial goal. Maybe things have come up throughout the year that you didn't anticipate and it's really challenged you to meet your goal. So just be honest about it and try to give us enough information so that we know to help because all Question five, what's been the biggest challenge for you during this process? And this can be as simple as it was really challenging to set your initial goal, or it could be that this whole process has really challenged you as a teacher to meet that goal. 
I just want you to put in enough information so that we know how to support you. Because keep in mind that each of the answers that you put really does help us drive what we do to support you. And if you can be honest about this process and put enough information, it really does help guide us whenever we complete things. Because if we don't have enough information, that's whenever we get into this tricky thing of trying to plan uh, sessions and professional development that are relevant to you because we really don't know. We don't have enough information. Question six, do you feel like your students have benefited from your DLC goal? And please explain why or why not. The whole goal of the digital competencies is really to impact your teaching with how you're using technology, not just that you're using it. So have you seen any benefits from your students? So have your students benefited from your goal? And then the final question, knowing what you know now, would you change anything about your goal? So if we could go back to the very beginning, would you rewrite that goal in any way? And explain your answer, because if you wouldn't change anything, explain why you wouldn't change anything. So that pretty much wraps up our DLC checkup and what you can expect out of it. If you have any questions about this whole process, please talk to your instructional technology specialist.